गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे माय टॉपिक इज नेसेसिटी ऑफ स्टार्टर फॉर द डीसी मोटर इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस द नेसेसिटी ऑफ स्टार्टर फॉर द डीसी मोटर कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ अ थ्री पॉइंट स्टार्टर वर्किंग ऑफ थ्री पॉइंट स्टार्टर एंड लास्टली डिसएडवांटेज और द लिमिटेशंस ऑफ द थ्री पॉइंट स्टार्टर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस स्टार्ट वॉट इज द नेसेसिटी ऑफ स्टार्टर as far as dc motor is concerned this is the circuit of the dc motor this is the equation of dc motor voltage v is equals to eb plus iara where v is the supply voltage eb is the back emf ia is armature current and ra is equals to armature resistance so from this equation we can write आर्मेचर करंट आई ए इज इक्वल्स टू वी माइनस ई बी बाय दी आर ए एंड इन द डी सी मोटर द बैक ई एम एफ इज प्रपोजनल टू द मोटर स्पीड एन नाउ फ्रेंड्स वॉट हैपन ऑल द डी सी मोटर आर सेल्फ स्टार्टिंग सो वेन द मोटर इज कनेक्टेड विद द डी सी सप्लाय इट विल स्टार्ट टू रोटेट सो द फंक्शन ऑफ स्टार्टर इज नॉट टू स्टार्ट द मोटर एट ऑल now what happen at the time of starting at the time of starting the speed of the motor is zero hence if the speed is zero there will be no back emf in the motor so back emf is also zero at starting now please put the value of back emf is equals to zero then this equation number 2 will become armature current ia is equals to v by ra only equation number 3 so initially this back emf is zero so we will get armature current ia is equals to v by ra that is why the armature current is very much high in the starting of the dc motor the value of armature resistance is very low for the proper functioning of the dc motor let us assume that this armature resistance is 0.4 ohm and supply voltage is 220 voltage so this armature current will become 220 divided by the 0.4 so this armature resistance is armature resistance sorry armature current is become 550 ampere which is 10 times more than the full load current of the dc motor so friends due to the higher starting current there are so many problems created in the dc motor let us discuss due to the high starting current the armature of the motor can burn and due to the higher starting current voltage drop in the line is also increasing and if some equipments are connected with the same line then other equipment will get the lesser voltage heavy sparking can damage the commutator as well as the brushes and it will also create the mechanical stress to the dc motor so due to the higher starting current these are the problem which can occur in the dc motor so what is the function of the starter we are using starter to limit that starting current so what we have to do that is discussed by this equation number 4 ia is equals to v by ra plus rs rs is the starting resistance so by using a starter we have to add externally starting resistance in series with the armature right that is why it is written in the equation number 4 but friends this starting resistance doesn't need to be present throughout the full operation of the dc motor why because as the speed of the dc motor increases as the speed of the dc motor increases the back emf is also increases so this back emf will counter the supply voltage and it is shown by this equation number 5 ia is equals to v minus eb divided by ra plus rs so friends as the speed increases 
back emf is increases and when this back emf will reach to its maximum value the starter decreases the starting resistance and ultimately cut out all starting resistance to zero right so the main purpose of the starter is to reduce the starting current to a very safe value so the dc motor cannot damage now friends we will discuss the constructions of a three point starter let us start this is the friends this is the figure of three point starter let me zoom it just a minute this is the this is the figure of the three point starter so we will understand all different parts of the three point starter the first part is this is the starting resistance the starter consists of a several section of this starting resistance as you can see r1 r2 r3 r4 and r5 right all the tapping points of the resistance are connected with the number of stud this is the number of stud 1 2 3 4 5 so all this resistance are connected to the stud the main functions of this resistance are to limit the starting resistance this r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 plus r5 that is the total starting resistance this is the total starting resistance and this starting resistance will come in series with the armature so ultimately it will reduce this starting current that will be discussed in the working of the starter next part second one is the no voltage coil or the hold on coil the hold on coil or the no voltage coil this is the no voltage coil is connected in series with the field winding the main function of the hold on coil is the hold on coil is to keep the moving arm in the hold on position third is moving arm what is the function of this moving arm this is the moving arm the one end of this moving arm is connected to the terminal l through the overload relay and the other terminal is connected to the and is other terminal is connected to the stud number 1 so what happen during the operation its main function is to cut this resistance one by one the fourth one is overload coil now what is the function of this overload coil the overload coil is connected in series with the main line and its function is to protect the motor from the overload so that is why this overload coil is here next one is the spring the spring is this spring is connected to this moving arm and the main function of the spring is to provide the controlling torque to this moving arm look at here number 6 soft iron piece this is the iron piece which is attached to this moving arm during the normal operation of the motor it is attracted by this hold on coil right so these are the main component of the three point starter starting resistance no voltage coil moving arm overload coil spring and the soft iron piece and these are the three terminals line it is directly connected to supply a means armature it is connected to armature and f means field it is connected to the field now let us understand the working of the three point starter so first of all what happen friends first we have to switch on the main supply with the moving arm this is the moving arm it is in the off position so first keep the moving arm in the off position then we have to switch on the supply now move the moving arm this is the moving arm we have to move this moving arm with the help of handle right to the first stud 
so this moving arm is connected to the stud number 1 now when this moving arm comes in contact with the stud number 1 this field winding this is the field winding is directly connected with the supply mains while the whole starting resistance is connected in series with the armature so what happen the starting current pass through the armature is limited by this starting resistance right now what happen as the moving arm is further move this is the moving arm it is come to the stud number 1 then further move to 2 3 4 and 5 so this starting resistance are gradually cut out in stud now when this arm is from the off position to the on position the whole resistance is cut out and this moving arm is magnetically coupled to this hold on coil and held by the hold on coil or the no voltage coil with the help of this soft iron piece now let us understand the operation what happen when the supply is interrupted when the supply is interrupted there will be no current pass from the hold on coil no current is passed from the hold on coil so what happen due to the no magnetization of the hold on coil so this moving arm is coming back from the on position to the off position right due to the controlling torque of the spring which is connected to the moving arm thus meanwhile suppose supply is restored but this supply is restored though this moving arm cannot automatically start the motor now in case there is a overload in the dc motor when the motor draws a very high current then at that time what happen this is the overload coil which is given for the protections of the overload so when there is a overload in the circuit this overload coil will operate it will pull this armature this is the armature it will pull the armature which causes the short circuit of this hold on coil look at here this is the armature it is pulled by this so this two contact will be shorted this two contact are connected to the hold on coil so the hold on coil is demagnetized and hence the moving arm is coming to the off position due to the controlling torque provided by the spring and thus the motor will be disconnected from the supply mains so this is how the three point starter is working but in the three point starter there is a one disadvantage is there what is that friends this is the three point starter now what happen suppose we have to speed control the dc motor and we are using the field control method so what happen in the field control method in the field control method we have to reduce this field current and if this field current is reduced so much then this field current is passing through this hold on coil so though there is no fault in the dc motor this hold on coil will demagnetize and hence this moving arm is pulled back to the off position which will ultimately result in the disconnection of the motor from the supply so we cannot achieve the proper speed control of the motor using three point starter and this advantage will be overcome in the four point starter thank you friends